Local news that matters on ABC 22 News. We're hearing from one of the new community safety advisors to Burlington's mayor about what he hopes to accomplish as a new task force gets to work. ABC 22's Maliki Flynn joins us in the newsroom after speaking with him and with the mayor. Mayor Emma Mulvaney's Stanek convened a community safety advisory team two days ago. We're learning more about the group's goals and the reason it's been formed. A group of community members will recommend public safety improvements in Burlington. Mayor Emma Mulvaney Stanek says she believes in collaborative problem solving and values perspectives from outside her personal area of expertise. I know that I uh, don't know all the answers and I think collectively uh, we can uh, come up with a lot of much more innovative uh, solutions when we are working together as a, as a community. So I think the diversity of perspectives are really going to name things I would not know. This will really help round out the discussion to identify what's not working, uh, ways that we can find better solutions. The advisors will meet four times this summer to share their perspectives on community safety and discuss solutions to the city's safety problems. Then they'll bring recommendations to the mayor's office. They include current and former city councilors, members of Burlington's business community, school representatives, and people from housing-related groups. Peter Hiskies, Outdoor Gear Exchange's Senior Director of Retail Sales, is one of the advisors. Part of the first meeting was we spent time defining what does community safety really mean. I think it's really important to recognize that we're not trying to solve just one problem for one group. We're trying to bring a, a, a coalition of people together to solve a complex array of challenges. Hiskies wants to change the image that many locals and visitors have of Burlington. He says that despite the issues the city is facing, it's still a special place. No one in that room is ignoring the very real challenges that Burlington faces. No one. At the same time, I think all of us recognize that Burlington is really still a remarkable city and a good place to be and to work and to live. We need to work on the perception of Burlington, both among some residents of Burlington and outside of Burlington. The mayor also hopes to hire a senior advisor on community safety on a two-year temporary basis to help her administration implement effective community safety strategies. Live in the newsroom, Maliki Flynn, ABC 22 News.